Hello from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. Scientists have created the world's first living, self-healing robots using stem cells from frogs. Named Xenobots, these machines are less than a millimeter, about 0.04 inches wide, small enough to travel inside human bodies. They can walk and swim, survive for weeks without food, and work together in groups. They are actually an entirely new type of life form. Scientists scrape living stem cells from frog embryos. Then the cells are cut and reshaped into specific body forms designed by a supercomputer. The cells then begin to work on their own and move on their own. Xenobots even have self-healing capabilities. When the scientists sliced into one robot, it healed itself and kept moving. Joshua Bongard, one of the lead researchers at the University of Vermont working with Xenobots, said in a news release that these are novel living machines. They are neither a traditional robot nor a known species of animal. It's a new class of artifact, a living programmable organism. The Xenobots could potentially be used toward a host of tasks. Xenobots could be used to clean up radioactive waste, collect microplastics in the ocean, carry medicine inside human bodies, or even travel inside of our arteries to scrape out plaque. The Xenobots can survive in aqueous environments without additional nutrients for days or even weeks, making them perfect for internal drug delivery. Aside from these immediate practical tasks, the Xenobots could also help researchers to learn more about cell biology, opening the doors to future advancement in human health and longevity. Researchers noted that if they could make 3D biological forms on demand, they could repair birth defects, reprogram tumors into normal tissue, regenerate human cells after traumatic injury or generative diseases, and defeat aging. This research could have a massive impact on regenerative medicine, which is the practice of building body parts and introducing regeneration. It may all sound like something from a dystopian sci-fi movie, but the researchers say there is no need for alarm. Although AI-run supercomputers are the source that build these new life forms, it is unlikely that the AI supercomputers would ever create a Xenobot that would have evil intentions. I am Gary Vernier, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.